It's a lot easier to get people to say no <clears throat> than yes. They expect you as a salesperson, you're always trying to get a yes, get a yes, get a yes, get a yes. So when you go for a no, it's unexpected, a bit different. They don't know that you're trying to sell them. So perfect example of this is telling them what they won't do. Let's say you're knocking on someone's door. So they've had people come by. They're super obsessed with their flat roof not being affected. Well, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't go solar if it would negatively uh, impact your roof. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, that'd be stupid, right? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if I come back and I'm not saving you money and it doesn't make sense, you're just going to tell me no. If you start talking like that, then, well, yeah, of course, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, you're not going to do solar unless you're saving thousands and thousands of dollars. You wouldn't do that, right? <clears throat> so when you talk to them like that, it's a bit different than trying to go, well, yeah, I'm going to save you all this money. We're so good with flat roofs. We're going to protect your roof. Don't worry about it. It's going to be good. I got you, right? Because that just creates sales pressure. Oh, whoa, look out, look out. They're trying to push you away. So if you're trying to push, 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 get them to say yes, 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 they'll often resist you. But if you just tell them, of course, I'd be stupid if you weren't saving a bunch of money, you'll just kick me out of your house. You won't go solar. You talk to them like that, reason with them. Yeah, of course, I wouldn't do it. Makes sense. Well, if I come back and I can't save any money, just kick me out then. So try and aim for getting the homeowner to agree with a no. That is obviously leading the interaction forward instead of always pushing for a yes.